Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a great day again today. This is Scott with the Tourist Trap again. I am at the Orlando Premium Outlets on the west end of I Drive. Gonna go and show you around in the Disney Character Warehouse, which is actually operated by Disney. They have another character warehouse up on the other end of I Drive at the other Orlando Premium Outlets. It's a little bit bigger, but uh, this one still has some good merchandise. Some merchandise that uh, they're discontinuing, they want to get rid of at a very drastic reduced rate so uh, if you're planning on coming to Orlando and you're wanting to get souvenirs at Disney don't uh, uh, buy them the first day come check out the Disney character warehouse first and they are uh, licensed uh, theme park merchandise unlike some of the shops down on I drive and up on uh, 192 in Kissimmee uh, the gift shops they're nice shops but um, if you want the authentic theme park merchandise, this is the place to get it. Let's go inside and look around. They even have their window all decked out uh, with all the characters, just like you would see if you went into one of the Disney theme parks. Uh, they have it all decked out, all real nicely, and they're highlighting some of their movies. Uh, Animal Kingdom, uh, tickets are sold here, and they got their Hollywood Studios, new attraction at Epcot. They're going to highlight that. They're going to advertise that. Um, Right there, and there's uh, there's one of the Donald Duck's nephews. He's got the uh, the little stickers that we used to put on when I worked in merchandise. We used those little stickers in a little gun and put the prices on the merchandise. Like I said, this is a smaller store than the one up on uh, the other end of I Drive at the other Orlando Premium Outlet, but it is still a large store, and it's always a crowded store as well. And uh, let's see if we can find some unique items. Now this here is something I am interested in for sure is the Journey into Imagination and it does say Journey into Imagination Epcot Center and it has our old buddy Dreamfinder on the front and it is a plate. It's reduced down to $4.99 and uh, I do know the gentleman who played Dreamfinder. He is on my Facebook. I'm going to try to get him on this channel one day and they do have some salt and pepper shakers here. There's one from Main Street and Fa Fantasyland and Adventureland. Over here in the corner, they do have some Star Wars figures uh, from Rogue One. Those are some pretty nice looking figures right there, along with some Star Wars shirts and even some. Uh, they got the Star Wars Rogue One ear hats for $4.99. And uh, who could beat that deal for, uh, for Mickey Mouse ears? Well, I have found those Star Wars Elite series that I've seen over at the Galactic Outpost when I did a little story over there. And they're in here reduced for $14.99. I thought those were so cool looking. There's those right there. They do have a big selection of the Star Wars merchandise here. And as you could see there, it was reduced. And that is an item that is currently available at the Galactic Outpost at Disney Springs. They have a lot of cool Disney flat artwork here ranging from $4.99 up to $19.99 and uh, I'm not going to go through all of them but the ones that are in the front they do look pretty darn cool and uh, nice little framed artwork if you want to uh, purchase that and uh, put it on your wall. Here's a really cool Indiana Jones bag I'm trying to find out what the price is on this this thing it's a little bit of a plastic leather it was $49.95 but now it is only $19.99 so uh, if you like Indiana Jones uh, there's a bag for you right there they are making another movie it's going to be coming out in a few years they have a big shelf of bags over the shoulder bags and this one caught my eye this Toy Story uh, the Mr. Potato and he's only $9.99 and it was regular $24.99 so uh, why pay $24.99 when you can come here and get it for $9.99? And they do have a wide selection of bags at all different prices, relatively cheap uh, in price. Uh, this one right here is only, only $5.99. So uh, it's not going to break the bank on you here. It's like they got some flip flops up here as well. And they were $14.95. I do remember that price when we used to sell the flip flops over in Space Mountain. These are only $2.99 and uh, not a bad deal. They also carry the magic bands here and the sliders and all that and the bandits. 
and I did look at the prices and they are full price. Uh, they're not going to give you a discount probably on a Magic Band, but there's a Figment one right there. They do have a wide selection of infant clothing here and uh, even shoes for infants. And these are only $9.99. Just to give you an idea of some of the prices here, that was regular $16.99. So uh, not a bad deal. And, uh, and it goes into youth sizes as well. Uh, a lot of girls stuff, but uh, quite a bit of items. Uh, I can't look at all the prices, but uh, they do have quite a few. And they got some, they have some cool hats as well. And back here in the back of the shop is some Beauty and the Beast dresses for your little princess. And uh, they have quite a few of those back here in the back of this, this shop. And uh, looking at the price of this, uh, it was $119, but they're now $49.99. Uh, so if you're bringing your little princess to Disney, don't go to that bibbidi bobbidi doo boutique. Come right here and get uh, what you need. They even got some pirate outfits for the boys here. Uh, and these are probably reduced pretty good. This, this one here is only $24.99. It's regular $59.99. Nice little, little pirate outfit there. And this one here is a $24.99 deal as well. So uh, not too bad if you're on a budget. A nice little silhouette there on the wall behind the counter of Donald Duck and Daisy. And looks like uh, Donald is upset again. And if you need some shades, they have the shades. I highly doubt they have the Adam the Woo shades because he did say that uh, they discontinued those. Every time I'm out in the Disney parks or Disney shops, I do try to look to see if those have returned so I can let him know that, hey, your sunglasses are back, my man. They have some cool vintage looking postcards here. Uh, one was Space Mountain for $1.99. Uh, they were $4.99. So, uh, Wonder Ga Ground Gallery. I do like the old vintage Space Mountain there. Uh, and they got some Tinkerbell. And they even got some Marvel stuff up here. The Astonishing Ant-Man. Uh, and I believe these are all $1.99. There's the Black Panther. And uh, let's see if I can find another different one. So far I see the Ant-Man and Black Panther. Uh, you do have quite a few of them. Here is a Pirates of the Caribbean treasure chest and it's only $8.99 and it was $39.95 so that's a pretty good deal and I guess you could put whatever you want inside this it opens opens all the way up and there's some coasters that comes with it put your cold drink what a better way to uh, kick off uh, the new movie that's coming out well I hope you enjoyed that little shopping trip to the Disney character warehouse down here at the Orlando premium outlets on the west end of I drive here in Orlando. Good little place to come. Like I said, when you're coming to Disney, don't buy that merchandise on the first day. Uh, wait a few days. Come step out of the out of the park. Come down here and check out the uh, character warehouse. And um, you will definitely come away with some good savings uh, instead of spending that full price there at the park. And uh, as you can see on some of the prices that I did show you, uh, that they, they had a lot of items in there. They're constantly changing them. They're constantly bringing in more items uh, every week. So the merchandise does change. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, definitely a great time and a great uh, shopping experience to go in there and look. A lot of people. But um, I'm going to leave now and because uh, I'm tired. It's hot out here. And uh, remember, always go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it.